The price of progress is often steep for businesses in a construction zone, and many stores and restaurants along M59 in Macomb County will be in the thick of it all for the next two years. As our Priya Mann reports today, many of those businesses got together with MDOT to discuss how they can all stay afloat. For years, Hall Road has been crumbling right before our eyes, and here's the proof. Well, that's all about to change with a massive $60 million project set to begin within days. There's no denying the 400 or so businesses on Hall Road between M53 and Romeo Plank will be affected. Today, owners got more answers from MDOT. It really helped us identify what our business was going to be affected, like the 10-day and additional 10 days at Shaner. Good information. It's estimated 90,000 vehicles travel on Hall Road every day. It's also the only major route in Macomb County connecting 94 to 75. With a two-year project around the corner, MDOT held an open meeting Tuesday morning. With the condition that that roadway's in, we can't wait really any longer to maintain this road. Um, I mean, we've been somewhat chasing our tail, trying to do concrete patches, trying to fill potholes. The construction engineer went so far as to hand out his cell number so people can call him anytime with concerns. It's gutsy, it's gutsy. I don't know if I would have done the same thing, but whatever works for him. He's brave, super brave. <laughs> it's a lot of people to answer to on a personal level, you know. MDOT will be removing the concrete and replacing it with asphalt. Road work is expected to begin early next week. They don't have to hold these meetings, and they did because they care. And MDOT officials are meeting with police departments tomorrow to discuss any potential impacts of the construction project on emergency responders. Reporting from Macomb County, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.